Hi there, welcome. I thought I'd make a few videos uh, talking about basic birth chart interpretations from a classical astrological perspective. So I'm gonna be drawing mostly from Hellenistic, medieval and Renaissance techniques of astrology, but also some Indian techniques since I've studied that tradition quite a bit as well. And the first thing I wanted to say is that there's no one way to start interpreting each and every birth chart. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do birth charts for now, and I might talk about horary at another time. Um, most people are you know interested in wanting to know something about their birth chart. So, if I, I figure if I make a few videos about it, um, you know, it'll give those of you who are less familiar with the techniques of astrology an ability to start kind of playing with them. And so. Uh, in, in any case, though, there's, there's really no one way to start interpreting a chart. I really wish there was, and some astrologers may do that, but every time I tried to do that, every time I tried to say, okay, each and every chart, I'm just going to start exactly like this and follow these methods and you know list these things. Every time I tried to do that, I found it to be stifling and artificial, and it sort of, it took the fun out of astrology for me. And part of the reason it took the fun out is simply because it, it just felt forced. So I couldn't really feel my way into it. I couldn't really access the intuitive side of it. So basically, that's kind of the first thing you need to know. I am going to give some techniques and ideas that will allow you to get started on, you know, and approach most charts in this way. But I want to make that clear that it's really not, there's no one way into a chart. And it also depends what the person coming to you for the reading is asking you about too, if you're going to actually be reading for someone. <clears throat> so most people are going to come to you and ask about, you know, their love life, their career, their money, and possibly their health. A few people here and there will want to know more about spirituality. Um, other people may want to know about their their child or children or why they don't have many friends or if they'll be able to travel to such and such a place and some of these are questions that are better suited for a horary chart but if people want to know things on a broader spectrum right that's where the birth chart comes in handy so again disclaimer uh, another disclaimer these videos assume that you know a little bit about astrology already this is not a beginner's video it's more of like a a novice's video so you should already know like the the 12 signs you should know something about the 12 houses and hopefully you know about the classical rulerships okay we're not going to utilize uranus neptune or pluto just yet and they don't rule signs according to the classical system the other thing is is that this is a transit chart this is not the chart of anybody famous or well-known or even anybody I know. And I think it's important to practice on charts that are just hypothetical people. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be using this chart for the video. And I got this chart through astroseek.com. I went to their lunar calendar and I just picked when the moon uh, was entering into Taurus where it's exalted. I just wanted, I wanted an exalted moon for, for some reason. For this demo video so um, yeah so basically I'm just going to be using this chart to do a short series of videos talking about how to start interpreting charts and start getting like the foundation for what it, you know what a person's life might be like through their chart okay so stay tuned for the next video and Otherwise, hit like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and check out my website for individualized readings and more. Okay, guys, next video coming up shortly.